Hello and welcome to this tutorial of C++ for a ton. My name is Jess Day and I'm going to teach you how to make a simple C++ console application in Visual Studio 6.0. Then start by starting up Visual Studios like this. Press close and then go to File, New, Win32 Console Application and then write in a project name. For example, RZ Tutorial 1. Then press an empty, sim, an empty project, finish, and OK. Now you're going to have to add a source file. So go to New, C source file, and in file name, fill in main.cpp. This is where you're going to be putting all of your code for now. Um, first off, you want to include a header. The one we'll be using today is iostream. If you want more information about the header iostream, then go to Google and it will give you all the information you want. But for now, just add it. You do that by writing include iostream. Um, now, if you want to add a custom header or anything that you download from the internet that um, that the compiler doesn't know, just use quotation marks instead of the arrows, and that should do it. And also, don't forget to add the H after it sometimes. Uh, to the next part, we're going to be defining a namespace. The namespace we'll be using today is std, and you define it like this, using namespace std. Uh, I'm going to be going more into what namespaces are in, the, in another tutorial. Um, but for now, just leave it at that. Now, to the more interesting part is the main loop. The main loop uh, is something all programs have. Uh, this is the loop that will be ran all the time through the program, and if it's closed, the program will close. Uh, all the programs must exit with a return code. Uh, for this, we use a return function, but more on that later. To make the first main loop, we'll just have to write int main brackets like this that's your first main loop now you're going to notice I wrote int in the beginning here that may, means that the function will return an integer or an int when it's done now we're going to have since it has to return something which in this case in the main loop is the return code for the program to the system we're going to have to write return 0. Uh, that means to the system that the uh, program has returned the, a call that means that it's fi finished and there were no errors. Uh, the return columns can be different and these are the ones to tell the system if there was an error in the program or if it didn't, didn't close successfully or anything like that. Now let's try it build and then build rz tutorial 1.exe or just press f7 and it compiled without any problems it's fine now if you want to try it the program just build execute rz tutorial 1.exe and you're going to get the console window which is your program you can also just press control f5 which is what i'm going to be doing from now on <clears throat> now to make it more interesting uh, we're gonna print out some text in the console. So we're gonna be using C out, which stands for console out. So just write C out, then two arrows pointing towards the function, then uh, quotation mark, hello world, and then quotation mark, and then a semicolon. I just press F7, compiled fine, control F5 to run it. And here we have your first Hello World application. Now, as you noticed, it, all the uh, text from both the compiler and your Hello World uh, Cout was in one line. If you want to make a new line, just do two more arrows after the uh, quotation marks and then write end L as an end line. Just try it again. Yes. And you have a new line. Um, 
if you change the arrows and they go in the wrong direction, that's not going to work. Um, those, if you do it in the other way, that's for a different function which assigns a value to a variable, which is called cn. But I'm going to take that up in a different tutorial. So please uh, play around with this and then I hope this helped you uh, and it worked for you. And if you have any comments, then please leave them below. And if you have any questions, then I'll be I'll do my best to answer them. And I hope this has helped you. And this has been a tutorial for the website at Raid Zone. And my name is Jeste, and thank you.